Save me, O God, for the floodwaters are up to my neck. Deeper and deeper I sink into the mire. I can't find a foothold. I'm in deep water and the floods overwhelm me. In Psalm 68 to 72, the reoccurring theme is that David is overwhelmed. And I think that's something we can all relate to. But through these writings, we can learn a healthy way to walk through seasons just like this. First notice that David writes down his feelings. He's very detailed about his thoughts. He expresses his shortcomings. He expresses his confusion over evil's triumph. And he even gives God some creative suggestions on how to punish his enemies. Then secondly, David gives it all to God. Notice that in these writings, David doesn't take matters into his own hands. Instead, he surrenders his life to the Lord. This is what it means to live by faith, to know that God's mighty hand is at work even when we can't see it. Listen to Romans 12, 19. Never take revenge, leave that to the righteous anger of God. For the scriptures say, I will take revenge, I will pay them back, says the Lord. And finally, David closes these Psalms with a song of praise. He worships through the storm. In each chapter, he ends by remembering and expressing the greatness of God. He resolves to always praise his name. So today, whatever overwhelms you, try this. Express your feelings in prayer. Surrender it all to God and leave it with him. Then praise God like David did in chapter 71. But I will keep on hoping for your help. I will praise you more and more. I will tell everyone about your righteousness. And all day long, I will proclaim your saving power. Though I am not skilled with words, I will praise your mighty deeds, O sovereign Lord. I will tell everyone that you alone are just.